My name is Sean Fiddler, and I am Director of Sales for uh, the Lancer Mako and, and new aircraft like the Barracuda and anything else that's uh, secretly in the pipeline. Lancers are classified as experimental airplanes, which means they aren't as heavily regulated by the FAA and built by the owners themselves. They come in many different models and are fully customizable. So let's talk to Sean and learn a little bit more about these unique airplanes. Lance Air was uh, started in Redmond, Oregon. It has been in existence for uh, about 25 years and was recently sold to Mark and Conrad Hofstedler in Uvalde, Texas. And that's the team that I work for. The history of Lance Air is they built these kits, piston kits, and evolved them from a 200, 230, on up to the 320, 360, and, and then a number of different models, the, the ES, the 4P. And then they started with a turbine aircraft called a uh, Evolution, and they've really been focused on that for the past seven or eight years. And what they did is decided to sell all the IP, all the molds, and all the assets uh, of Lance Air, and that's what Mark and Conrad bought. So they're still Lance Air Evolution, building the big turbine aircraft, and we're focusing on all the legacy, no pun intended, uh, piston aircraft and developing new aircraft based on those models but improved uh, aircraft. Experimental aircraft is a experimental kit-built aircraft, which means a builder builds the aircraft according to the FAA's uh, amateur build rules. Essentially, there's 200 steps into building an aircraft and that amateur builder has to be involved in 51% of those. It's not a linear time situation, it's a number of step situation. And a certified air aircraft is one that the FAA has very intensely gone over to make sure that it meets the FAA standards. And that's wonderful, but it's also extremely expensive. We are building a highly standardized aircraft with a Lancer Mako and with our new Barracuda, which is based off the Legacy, a very disciplined build center with standardized build processes. Uh, it's very much like a certified build center but you don't have all the cost associated with us going through the process of working with the FAA, which can be multiple millions of dollars, and therefore the cost of the aircraft goes up substantially. A cost basis for Cirrus, which is very expensive, there's similar aircraft to the, to the Mako, is close to a million dollars and even up to 1.2, where our aircraft is in the five to $600,000 range. There really isn't a lot of difference between the aircraft. Um, this aircraft is in a very similar category. We have more speed, a little cleaner airframe, we have more useful load, we have more range. You know, the safety record of the Lancer ES and now the Mako is a very strong safety record. I think there's only been three minor accidents. The builder has to spend uh, nine months building it. And of that nine months, they're gonna be there for six, eight, nine weeks at, at the Uvalde Build Center, achieving that 51%, but supervised with excellent support, uh, a lot of standardization, the, the factory jigs, and moving through the same process that all the other aircraft that are moving through our build center are going through. So there's no deviation from the process, wild changes to the airframe. They're all built to the factory manual and uh, straight, true, strong aircraft. You could break it up. But basically, the first two weeks is right at the beginning of the build. It's heavily uh, composite-based, building the airframe, closing the control surfaces, attaching the wing skins. Those are all high-value items. The middle uh, session, maybe at month three or four, is installing the avionics, a lot of electronics, wire harnesses, some more composite work, and towards the end, it's final assembly. Yeah, it could be as little as six weeks. It could, it depends on the builder. It depends on how much time they want to spend. The aircraft itself is, uh, is pretty impressive performance. This one has a, a TSIO 540 Lycoming, uh, 350 horsepower, twin turbo boosted. The airplane was going at 12,000 feet, 225 knots, and burning 22, 24 gallons an hour. It was really an impressive airframe. You know, 110 gallons, so a good five hours of fuel. Incredibly comfortable, the G3X panel, the GTN 750, all the integration there. It's just a pleasure to fly. Uh, the future of, of Lance Air is to continue to develop products. So the Mako is a heavily improved ES with a number of different enhancements. It has a carbon cap and, and different layup schedules to provide the right side door. It has a center stick, a retractable nose gear, a BRS option, and we're doing the same thing with the Legacy, with the new Barracuda, probably looking at a couple other projects here in the next two or three years. So we're gonna to continue to support the existing Lance Air base 
and we're gonna improve those products and create better airplanes that are brought through our build center and other build centers, but built in a standardized fashion so that you know they're all built the same, they're all built to a very high level of quality, and they're affordable. We're trying to provide standardization. Uh, there's no question that if you talk to 15 different owners of any experimental aircraft, they've all tried different things, and, and, and that's great. That's what experimental building is about, but we also want to provide a, a highly documented build process. So if the customer does want to make a small change, it's going to be heavily documented. You're going to know the temperature of the resin, the temperature of the room, uh, exactly what was done. And uh, so we're not going to deviate much. We want to keep it very standardized, but if we do, we're going to make sure that it's done right and that it's documented and that uh, future owners can buy that aircraft and be confident that it was well built. S-E-A-N, Sean at LanceAir.com. If you want to make go, let me know. We're going to have it up in the Midwest here for the next month. Uh, we do demos all the time in, uh, in Uvalde, Texas, where you can see the uh, aircraft and, and tour the build center and see where you're going to be building it. And uh, we're, we're going to have some exciting news here in the next few months, so uh, keep an eye on us. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, thanks, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. I've always had a love for experimental aircraft, and if I were to buy another airplane, it might just be a Lance Air. Please click that subscribe button and the bell next to it if you'd like to receive notifications when we post a new video. And this channel is funded by our patrons. Please visit patreon.com slash flyingdoodles. If you would like to help, you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month.